Okay, so everyone's talking about ChatGPT's new create image feature and how you can use it to just input a prompt and get out an amazing listing image. And that's just not really how it works. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually leverage ChatGPT's new create image feature to create some pretty incredible results for your Amazon listing images. So in this example of how I use ChatGPT's new create image feature, this is a listing image that I created a few months ago for this brand on Amazon. This is directly on Amazon. And as you can see, we have a list of ingredients on the side, but I had the idea, how cool would it be if I actually showed a display of these ingredients rather than listing them out as text? I thought that would be more compelling. So what I did was I'm gonna show you an image right now that I use as inspiration. So this is the image that I thought would be really cool to replicate. In this case, it's a toaster and they have these different, six different toasting modes. But I was like, oh, what if we could replicate this style but actually show the ingredients displayed in the same way? Let's ju jump into ChatGPT and I'm gonna show you how I input this image and the prompt I gave and then what it spit out. So this is my ChatGPT window. As you can see, I screenshotted just that portion of the listing image that I wanted. I said, recreate this style, but showcasing these ingredients here, which were nine. So I was hoping it was gonna do a three by three grid. It tried to do that, but it, it copied the same aspect ratio of the image. So it didn't quite fit everything in. As you can see, it put hemp hearts under spinach. So it wasn't quite, quite right, but what I did was I just pulled that into Photoshop remove the descriptions and just cleaned it up, right? And I like this style a lot. And it came up with all these visuals, came up with the color, came up with the font, really like that. So then I just took the remaining six and I said, okay, recreate this image here with these ingredients. It did that perfectly. Um, I wanted to switch the banana from an entire banana with the peel to just a couple slices. So I asked that, it did that perfectly. And then I needed two more ingredients, so then I just asked it for, use this style for these ingredients, almonds and chia seeds. So now I got all of the elements that I needed from ChatGPT, and then I took all of that information, all of that visual information, the images, pulled that into Photoshop, and let me show you the image that I created. So this is gonna be the first supporting listing image, and as you can see, I've used those visuals that ChatGPT helped me create. I've pieced them together in Photoshop, and I've made what I think is an incredible listing image but as you can see, it's not as simple as just inputting a prompt and having ChatGPT do all this work for you. I actually had to give it the inspiration for the listing image. I had to come up with the concept myself. And even then the results weren't perfect by ChatGPT. I had to pull that into Photoshop, rework it, re-input -im that image into ChatGPT. And even what it gave me from then, I had to continue to rework in Photoshop. So it accelerated the process of like looking for the perfect stock images. Um, but it didn't do all the work for me. I think that's important to realize is that just because you can accelerate different parts of the process, it still requires a ton of expertise, a ton of inspiration, knowing what to say and what visuals to give it and having that Photoshop skill, that image editing skill so that you can take what it gives you, re-input it back in and get something amazing. So hope this was useful. If you want any help designing your listing images, just drop a comment below or you can click the link in the description below book a call with me. So if this was helpful, give me a like. I love the feedback or leave a comment with a question. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.